my first post-crossing interview. Uh, to start with, on post-crossing you are? Hidden in a book. And uh, in Norway, obviously? Yes, Norway. Uh, starting in Norway. Currently in Sannes, uh, previously in Hammerfest, which is one of the most northern towns in the world. If not possibly the northernmost. There is uh, some uh, well, competition. There's, there's some, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> some, some discussion about that, yeah. Yeah. Well, um, first of all, how did you discover post-crossing? How did you hear about it? Uh, I heard it from um, you, actually. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it was uh, because we both do, as you know, book crossing, and uh, you were talking about it on, on one of the meetups in Oslo. Right. And I, I, I thought that, hey, I like writing letters, I like writing postcards, I like getting post mail. Yeah, it's a brilliant idea. So I decided to sign up and try. Yeah. So my second question was, what made you decide to start post crossing? But All obviously, right. yeah. you love mail, and mail is fun. So yeah. yeah. Uh, what kept you going with it? What was it? What would you say is uh, the things about post crossing that make it a worthwhile hobby? Um. Well, probably getting all these wonderful postcards. Um, uh, it's, I never really thought a lot about it, but you you learn so much. You can learn things and about other cultures and other places and other people, and also getting postcard of things you like. To, yes, I, I'd my, like you sh to show an thing. example. I I, yes. I really enjoy um, um, the uh, uh, animated films by Mi Miyaki Ma Miyazaki. Miyazaki, thank yeah. you. And uh, one of them is Totoro, which I got a postcard here. Let's see if I can zoom in. My neighbor Totoro. Oh, that's yeah. so adorable. It's really cute. And also I like like coffee and tea. Well, I have this list on my profile yes. telling uh, what kind of things I like. Can we just agree? I personally think it's so wonderful when people have a list or describe themselves and things they like on their profile so you can pick just the right card for them. Yeah. Isn't that a good idea for all post Really, really great idea for all post -crossers. And then you get, you're more likely to get postcards that you actually like. And I've also got this from, I think they're both from Japan if yeah. I'm not, no, this is from Taiwan. Right. But uh, I show It's a really cool card. Yeah. Uh, with some coffee or tea or whatever it is. I'm not quite sure. Various coffee related drinks. Uh, it's, yeah, it's coffee. Well, it says right there on the card, can't you just read it? <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> yeah, well, it's obviously an ad card, but it's not a Norwegian ad card, so it's kind of fun. Yeah, and it's relevant to your interests. Yeah, sure, of course. Um, some, some ad cards might be not very fun, but I don't mind them as long as they're like things I like. Yeah, and it's cool to see them from other countries. Parts yeah, of the world. exactly. Um, and I also really like penguins, so I got this Ooh. really cute Aww. one quite recently. Penguin family from uh, uh, Germany. Well, the penguins aren't from Germany, obviously. <laughs> Most likely not. <laughs> no. Um, and and the also is, is quite a lot of text, which is really good. But then you, people tell about their interests and things like that. And then another one, Ooh. also from Japan actually, Laura the Rings. Cool. Uh, it's an official <coughs> Laura the Rings card. Nice. Return of the King. Really nice. I really enjoy this. And it actually have a little sticker there with Laura the Rings. the Rings sticker yeah. too. Yeah. Cool. So, it's really good. Yeah. It's fun. So, I was going to ask about some of your favorite experiences, but I think we already saw some of those. So. Yeah. That's a little bit about post-crossing from Somers in Norway. Yeah. Thank you.